Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Jen Sorensen and in today's Disney Sidekick Soap Series video, yes, I'm using one of my quilts as a backdrop because I might have just filmed a quilty with this that you'll see soon or you will have just seen. I don't know timing anymore these days. I'm trying to get ahead of the game as I just start a new job and things get a little crazy, so bear with me here. But in today's Sidekick's Sidekick Soap Series video, say that five times fast. Go ahead, I'm waiting. Anyway, we are diving into Mushu, who is one of my favorite characters, maybe my favorite character in the movie Mulan. And I really love his personality, his character. But how do you capture the essence of a little itty bitty dragon that's got a lot of character to him with his you know, comedy gold. I, I, I think he makes a movie, but enough about that right now. Why don't we go see how I interpret Mushu and I'll meet you right back here in front of this still nameless quilt to talk about the finished product. All right, it is time to dive into this soap. In my oils, I have my kaolin clay and I have a little bit of um, sodium lactate, or basically just a salt in with my lye water solution. So let's blend this up and we'll get to making our Mushu soap. I am soaping at room temperature which is like 75 degrees-ish or so. Um, not too, too warm here, it's still spring. And I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of tap that off and put that over to the side. Now for Mushu, we're obviously gonna be mainly red, which is what this trial by fire is, diluted in a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add an accent of blue here, which kind of represents his horns to a degree. And I don't want too much, I just want a little bit. Then I have this bright yellow raincoat here. And you're like, that doesn't look like bright yellow raincoat. Nope, I stirred the red first and then went into this because I wanted it to have just a slight orange hue. And I didn't want it to be totally like primary colors. I wanted it to be a little bit different. And I don't want this to be super duper. Um, I don't want, I want it to be mostly red is where I'm going for Mushu, which I am just gonna say, I, I have not seen the new Mulan. Um, I mean, it took me like 20 years to see the first one. I'm just saying. I didn't get my big spatula. There we go, reaching for it. I'm gonna scrape down the inside here and we are going to put in our trial by fire here. The best red out there. Get that in, all mixed up. Let's see, can I get my spatula in there? Moosh up the, uh, the cup a little bit. Look, hold on, I need to get you closer in frame. This is by far the best red. So try to think about um, where I was going with that earlier is I've not seen the new Mulan, the live action, but it took me a while to see the animated one. I don't know why. I think it was just the timing of when it came out. So the reason I added a little bit of red in here is I wanted it to, I didn't want it to be like the primary colors, yellow, red, blue, and be a little childish. I'm just gonna add a tiny splash of fragrance oil this one, which is a mango pomegranate. A little bit in there and then we will put most of it in here. I thought, you know, you do see mango in Asian food a lot. You know, every now and then it's a great, great fruit. So we'll kind of get this all mixed up in the blue here. Let's go to this yellowish orange. Um, but I thought the mango would be nice nod and then the pomegranate is bright red, kind of like Mushu. And it's a fragrance oil I had on hand. So that seems like a good enough reason to me. 
And this one, I'm gonna do some unique stuff to it, just to kind of, I don't know, I, I, I feel like I wanna try something different. And I'm gonna try adding a little bit of a mica line, I think, with some activated charcoal or a pencil line in some cases, and then doing a hanger swirl. So maybe, I don't know. Let me wipe that clean and we will pour a bunch of our red in here to start. I want a bunch in. Now I'm gonna do some of this yellow orange here. And I wanna kinda of stick to the side closest to me. I don't wanna go all the way to the other side. I'll let the blue wait until the end. Okay. Let's do another small pass of this yellow orange close to me. And now let us get in here and try a little bit of activated charcoal, if I can get this little thing in here. And I just want a little bit to kind of represent the line drawings with Mushu. And also I thought this would kind of be fun with like the fire breathingness and you know the charcoal. It just seemed, like charcoal seemed to be something I needed to put in this soap. And I'm not gonna let that, wow. I definitely need to wipe that down. Good thing I have a disinfecting wipe here from when I always sanitize in between. Yikes. <laughs> okay, this will be good enough, but if you see the black, that's what you got. And I'm gonna wipe that down a little bit. Yeah, I always sanitize in between all of these. All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna add a little bit of the red here. And my hope is that it kind of pushes the black around a little bit, but it's not overwhelming. Okay, get a little bit more of this orange over here. And again, we're keeping it to my side. All right, now I think we can start to mix in some of, some of the um, blue. Um, I'm just trying to think here. Okay, I think I want a little bit more activated charcoal and I'm not doing a ton when I go through. I just want like a little bit mixed in, just a touch, that's it. All right, and I'm gonna have to go with the microfiber now because I just tossed that other one. All right, now, now we're in good shape. We'll add a little bit more red here. This is gonna be interesting. All right. Ew. Okay. We have just a little bit left, so I'm gonna keep going in with the red here. All right. We've got a touch of this yellow orange left. That's good. And I will save what's left here for the top. Need to get some more down here. I think I'm gonna scrape all of this red out because I want more of the blue and the orange on top. And we're going in, I'm not worried about what the top looks like because we're going in with, uh, with our hanger. So I just wanna kinda scrape what I can out, clearly making a mess, you know, it's what I do best. Okay. All right, good enough for right now. Let me get a little bit more of this blue here. All right, I'm gonna save what's left in here for the top. Now I've got my hanger, and this is just coated so that I can um, 
not worry about the Y in here. So I'm going to kind of go down and kind of just swirl it a little bit. I'm going in a couple directions. I'll take this out, clean this up here. I knew this was going to look a little bit messy. Hence why I saved some of these colors for the top. Wipe my hands off and let us scrape down the rest of this. I'm going to kind of really nicely try and lay this out here. I mean, I am going to swirl because this calls for a swirling of the top. Okay. But I want to try and cover up some of the muddy parts. Hopefully it's not muddy inside with all these colors, but hey, we'll, we'll figure this out. It's an experiment. Not everything goes according to plan. All right, it was kind of spritz a little bit all over the place. So I have a strong opinion that Mushu, AKA Eddie Murphy makes the original Mulan movie. Like it would not be what it is without him in it. His humor that he brings to the role, the, just like the spontaneity, the, it, the movie called for some humor, especially for kids. And he just brought what it needed. He is the star of that movie. Don't tell Mulan I said that, but I really think he is the star of that movie and carried it. And I've heard he's kind of what's missing of the live action. So I don't know, I'll be the judge of that. You tell me, do you like that humor that he brings to his role? I mean, come on. He's also like totally 90s, teenager in the 90s kind of kids, sense of humor at the time. Totally need that, okay. Excellent. I swear this happens every time I laid out my popsicle stick. It was right here. All right, here we go. Found one. All right, and we will swirl this. I'm not going to go too deep. Oh, I'm liking these swirls. I clearly need to clean up the edges here. Okay. We will do that. We will clean up these edges. Got to turn this and then we will see what this looks like. I'm going to be really curious to see how that activated charcoal plays with the hanger swirl. So stick around to find out. All right, Mushu, we, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how this turns out with that pencil line of the charcoal and how I kind of swirled it a little bit. First time attempting that. So we'll see. This is a little soft, even though it's been sitting for probably about 48 hours now. From the top, it looks like the yellow went a little more orange than I had wanted, but that's okay. All right, let's take the end off here, see what this looks like. Really interesting with those little bits of charcoal just kind of sprinkled within. And I kind of really like, let me get that right there for you. I kind of really like how that looks. It has that animated feel where it's got some of the orange there and blue has kind of this outline effect. And I really like that, it's different in like such a good way. Ooh, that one got a little sticky. You can see it's stuck there a little bit. But this is wonderful. Smells really good too. Okay, I'm gonna be really curious. I am in love with this technique and style. Maybe next time I'll kind of keep one side a little more clear, but this is really cool. I don't know, what do you guys think? I kind of like it. 
All right, I will check in with you guys real soon to let you know how this scent holds up over time because right now it's fabulous. All right, here is the finished product and I think it turned out pretty good. I probably would have added a little less red to what is now orange. I kind of want it to be like a, a yellow orange instead of a pure orange, but I don't hate it. I think it looks pretty good overall. And I love the wispiness that the charcoal mica lines kind of add to it that were swirled. I really like that look and I think it makes it really unique and different. It kind of adds to that like fire breathing dragon style and um, you know, also the pencil drawings, the animated hand-drawn animation. I think it just adds something really unique and cool. It smells great. I don't know if I need to say anything else than that. It's fruity. I get the pomegranate. It smells really nice. I like this a lot. And I hope you guys do too. And I want to know in the comments, do you like my technique here that I did where I laid that mica or pencil line down? Because this was activated charcoal, so technically not mica. And then swirled it. Do you kind of like that effect? It's kind of like a little, as I said, it kind of reminds me of fire or chalk lines, pencil drawings, and animation. Um, but yeah, I think it's cool. And I will see you guys real soon for the next video. Again, scheduling may be crazy, not apologizing for it, just stating the facts that this is life and bear with me. I hope you stick around for the journey because I'm not going anywhere. It just may not be quite as frequent, but I hope this inspired you to create something beautiful. Until next time, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I will see you real soon. Have a fantastic day.